Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Roxanne and today I'm going to teach you how to booty jiggle like a pro. I have five variations that's going to help you take your previous booty jiggle and turn it up and make you look like a booty bouncing twerk queen. Yeah? So, if you haven't checked out my previous tutorial already, I have a beginner's friendly booty jiggle tutorial that teaches you the basic move, um, gives you tips and tricks on how to make it pop and pop and pop in. And then yes, make your way back over to this one and learn how to turn it up another level. So, let's already get into it. Let's just recap first of all our booty jiggle in the first place. So, you can see me from the front and from the back. So, what's going to happen is, you're going to straighten your knees to the back, arch your lower back and shake your hips from side to side. It's going to be a small movement in the hips, so like, not too big. Just side to side like this. Make sure you keep your lower back arch and engage. Boom. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to take this and we're going to go round in a semicircle. Boom. Boom. So you want to make that movement. You want to go from right to left, left to right. I'm going to start to shake. When I go to the right, I twist my body this way. So you see I'm going like this. I'm going to jiggle. Do, 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 do. I bring my chest down and then I come back up. So I'm going round and back, yeah? This one needs a bit of practice because it can be a bit like counterintuitive for the brain to jiggle and then also move side to side. So just keep practicing it and I'm sure you're gonna be amazing. And you can just keep going and going and going and going. <laughs> so that's number one. Number two, we're gonna take the hips side to side. So first we do the semicircle, now we're going right, left, right, left. So you're going to start doing on the right and then move to the left. And then from the left, move to the right. Boom, 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 boom. With this one, you're not going to see as big of a movement as with going around the circle because, you know, there's only so much you can like twist all the way while keeping your legs straight. So it's okay if it's just a little you know, when I like to do it, I like to like look over at that cheek, look over the other cheek, and just make sure it's looking cute. As before, I always make sure I keep my lower back arched, knees are straight, right to the left, to the right, to the left. Hmm. That's number two. Next one, we're gonna do, we're gonna go into a half lunge position. So I keep my feet placed firm on the ground. You might wanna open them out a little bit more for this one. If you're too close and you bend, you're not like it also works, but you're not gonna get like as big of an impact. So I like to spread my feet wider than hip width apart, and you're gonna lunge on one side and then lunge on the other side. So one leg straight, one leg bent, and you're gonna jiggle while you do that. And what's gonna happen with this one? You're gonna see it. As I jiggle, the jiggle goes more into the straight. <laughs> the jiggle is going more into the leg that is straight. So for me, my left leg is straight, so my left cheek. Is really going to shake and it's going to be the same if I go on the right side then I really get the jiggle in the right side once again don't be scared or be like alarmed if as you're jiggling your thigh is joining in too it just helps the jiggle even more yes yeah? so don't be worried if you have like a jiggle party everyone is welcome so we're gonna go start in the middle jiggle 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 then we're gonna bend the right leg Keep that back arched even though you're going down. Come back in the middle and bend the left. And then you can just go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, slower. One, two, three, four, switch, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, yes. That's number three. So for the next one, we're gonna do like rolls with the back. So you're gonna like go in the round back, arch to come up and you're gonna jiggle as you do so you're gonna go boom ta boom ta now of course i said round back before but it's not like you're going in with a fully round back and the lower back is also in because the jiggle ain't gonna jiggle if your lower back is tucked in so it's more with like my mid to upper one i'm creating that illusion so i just bring my head down and up down and up exactly like this nice now, don't be worried if when you're like in this position, when your butt is really stretched, 
that you don't feel the jiggles as big as like for example you're standing here that's that's very normal because obviously we're like this so our booties are more stretched so if you haven't got like that control yet you're gonna feel like it's not happening as much but the only thing you can do to help it is to practice so just keep practicing going down and up even without the roll and then when you feel like here is looking good then you add the roll and up roll and up exactly like this yeah and that's number four next one one of my favorites i love a bit of floor work myself so we're gonna do now you're gonna go even wider this really depends on how stretched your hamstrings are and how open your hip flexors are. So I'm going to go pretty wide and I'm going to bend low. Hands on the floor. Lower back is arched. And I'm going to jiggle again. Now this one, as you can hear in my voice, <laughs> this one is a bit of a toughie. And the main thing is because you really need to keep your lower back arched, even though you're in this position. It also depends on your back flexibility and also if your hips are open. So this one, don't stress if it's not working out the first time. You know, for some people it works straight away, for other people they need a bit more time. Just keep practicing. That's the only way you're ever gonna get better at anything. So, arch your lower back and shake. Yes, and this one you need to put a little bit more energy in going side to side with the hips. Because now, not only are you like super wide, and your back wants to like round there's just a lot going on so really try it i also like to do this one with like one hand up and shaking top to the back one hand up and shaking yes so let's go over those five moves that we just did the first one was going round in a semicircle so we had one two three four five six seven eight then we had side to side so we had shape on the right shape on the left shape on the right shape on the left a hey. next we had our lunges side lunges so we're gonna shake on one side then swap shake on the other side switch it shake on one side switch go shake on the other side last one we're going down to the floor Jiggling for our lives. Yes, just like this. If you want one hand up, if you're really about it, no hands. Wide legs and no hands. That's right. You got this. And that is pretty much it for my tutorial. I'm going to do these moves again back to back with some music for you guys to vibe out to. Thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something new. I hope you know how to twerk like a pro. I believe in you. I hope you believe in yourself too. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And let me know what else you want to learn from me. And don't forget to check out my other videos if you like that one. Because there's plenty more where this came from. Peace.